We all have a love-hate relationship with packaging. We love it because it provides us with all kinds of neatly contained products that keep our food fresh and safe from farm through to shop and shows us all the important bits of information we need to know about what we consume. In fact, we love it so much that on average we touch packaging 125 times a day. No, really, think about it. If you touch something 125 times a day, you definitely have a cozy relationship. But we can't do without it. But on the other hand, we also hate it because it creates mountains of rubbish, it pollutes our neighborhoods and rivers, and my personal pet peeve, it pollutes our oceans. According to the Sustainable Seas Trust, if we continue dumping as we have been, by 2050, there will be more than 700 million tons of plastic in the ocean, outstripping the weight of fish. But is packaging the problem, or is it how we dispose of it? South Africans produce 54,000 tons of trash every day. Whilst we may be getting better at recycling, unfortunately, the majority of it still lands up in ever larger landfill sites. This milk bottle over here is made out of crude oil or coal, and neither of them are a renewable resource. But here's a thought. What if we can change that? What if we can grow plastic instead? In other words, make plastic from plants. Believe it or not, it's being done. Brazil is the world's largest sugarcane producer, growing around 635 million tons a year. In 2010, a Brazilian company developed technology to produce what's called polyethylene from sugarcane, which is, you guessed it, plastic. Hi Brandon, greetings here from South Africa. So Brandon, I want to ask you, how is plastic made from sugarcane? Based on technology that we developed, to take sugarcane ethanol and convert it into ethylene, which is the building block for all polyethylenes. So is it as good as fossil-based plastic? Our material is considered a drop-in material and has the same physical properties as your conventional polyethylene. But it's not the same, it's better. Sugarcane captures CO2, unlike fossil-based plastics which produce CO2. And Brazil has plenty of rainfall to support water-hungry sugar plantations. But what about using a food source to produce plastic? At some levels would be that during multiple crushings of the cane, the first highly concentrated sugar juice is used for human consumption, while the second, third and fourth crushings um, contain less concentrated sugar and is used for the production of ethanol. Their sugar industry is concentrated in the Central South region, accounting for 85% of the country's production. It's also located far from the Amazon rainforest. Brazil is a very large country with 851 million hectares, of which 330 million hectares are arable. And only 0.02% of this is used to grow sugarcane to make green polyethylene or plastic. One forward-thinking South African retailer is bringing it here. So this is your normal plastic milk bottle. And this one is made of 30% renewable sugarcane, or plant-grown plastic. It's an exciting first for South Africa and Africa. I can't tell the difference. Susie O'Regan heads up the rollout of this innovative new milk bottle packaging. They won't be able to tell the difference. It looks the same, it feels the same. The only difference is in this bottle we've got 30% polyethylene is made from sugarcane. Why 30% and not 100%? We needed to start somewhere. It's pioneering technology. Um, we decided to include 30% but at an point in time we will look at increasing that. Is it biodegradable? No, it's not biodegradable but it is 100% recyclable. So what is the motivation behind this? This initiative talks completely to our good business journey. Customers expect us to do the right thing, and um, so for us it really was a no-brainer. Those are made from sugarcane, and these are made from coal. Rowan heads up sustainability at Poly Oak. They are responsible for blending the 30% green plastic with traditional plastic. 
The quality of the bottle is exactly the same. We run it through all the same barrier of tests, pressure testing, um, drop testing, and the bottle is exactly the same. Same quality, same shelf life, same everything. Rowan believes that this new innovative packaging is a great new way to look at packaging and where it comes from, and to show that renewable options are out there. With that awareness, it just may drive us to make our own better, greener choices. Recycling is a good start.